Okay, this is Jerry Satterley of uh, Texas Avocados. I'm here looking at uh, one of my opal trees that's just really growing, but uh, a couple weeks ago, I showed you there was a late bloom on this tree, and uh, it has a couple little baby avocados. If I can just uh, reach up here and get that limb down. Uh, just fine, there they are. So I've got some baby avocados up there. Uh, so that's kind of a phenomena. Uh, and I don't know uh, really to whether to expect them to stay on the tree, make it through the stress of the summer. I kind of doubt it, but if it do, uh, that'd be just one more uh, wonderful thing that you experience in backyard avocados. Uh, all these miraculous, wonderful things. There's a couple things I want to show you that are necessary for old folks. Uh, that is that one of these little uh, reaching uh, things you get at your uh, garden uh, center. Uh, there's a tape measure and a flash water. Of course, a coffee cup. You want to sit out here and drink your coffee. But now don't take these flash water for granted. Uh, in this part of the country, if you go to the store late in the summer looking for flash waters, you won't find it. I found that out the hard way. So I, uh, this year, I went, <laughs> I went to the uh, store early and I got me a whole stack of them. And uh, the... Uh, they're just not around late in the summer, so uh, it won't necessarily be there if you uh, decide you want one. But you're going to need them if you spend time in the backyard. You're going to need some <laughs> flash water. Um, there's a little thing that I would show you on how to measure a tree. Uh, say, for instance, here, I'm going to back up that opal. There is a known dimension there, and that's that fence that's six feet tall. So you can take your fingers and, and just kind of, you know, squeeze your fingers to the point where it's about halfway of, of that fence and then go up above. That's uh, nine feet, so that's 10, maybe 11 feet tall. And that's just round uh, figures, but it's kind of nice to know. But you can just, uh, just general sense that that tree is uh, over half of uh, half high of what that fence is. So that's just little ways of measuring trees. Uh, another thing I want to do is show you how to, to pick a fruit because they do not ripen on the tree. Uh, I'm gonna come around here where I have this one that's pretty black. I can, now the first thing is, you know, to know is if it's on the ground. Uh, second way is to gently push up on it and uh, let it loose and if it falls and then it's ready there's a third way if you shake it if you feel that seed rattling then it's ready that means that the liner is already pulled loose from that seed and so uh, it, it, it's mature at the end of the cycle and there's really a fourth way and that's kind of a common sense way knowing the season of your tree uh, and you want to leave this fruit on as long as you can just for uh, rationing it out you don't want to pick it all at, at one time but if it's getting late in the season of that tree uh, by that I mean is it an early fruit or a late fruit uh, if it's early fruit uh, then by first of uh, October and if you're getting a big rain coming go ahead and pick it now if it's a late fruit you just let it stay it's not finished growing but if it's already finished growing and matured uh, and you get a big rain that's going to split it. And I found that out the hard way. Uh, so there's, this tree still got a lot of fruit. And uh, this is one tree that has just a bukus of fruit on it. It's just uh, uh, loaded. And uh, got to walk around here and show you some of it. It's just uh, everywhere. Uh, there we go. You see it's starting to turn black. So uh, within a few weeks, uh, I will have uh, uh, quite a bit of fruit to play with uh, and do some taste testing. Uh, so anyway, life is good. God's blessing. Uh, I think our rain season is over for the time being. And the summer 
is just about to set in. It's the uh, middle of June, so it won't be long. We're already in the mid-90 days, and it won't be long. We'll be with the mid-100 days, so uh, these trees will start experiencing a lot of stress, and uh, I'm watering them right now with water holes, so it's just uh, it's a fun time of the year, and uh, everything is growing in good shape. God has really been blessing us, so uh, just don't know how bad the summer will be. Take care.